<laughs> Sometimes these links that uh, my co-presenters give me are just hilarious. Although I'm not the best at it myself. <clears throat> what we've got here is the single largest termite mound that I know of on Juma, Arethusa and Cheetah Plains. This has to be the biggest termite mound and this is all made by a little insect related to a cockroach no larger than your fingernail on your finger. I mean this is as big as a building. Can you imagine how many years, how many hundreds of years it's taken sand grain by sand grain to glue something this big together and how deep it goes. The general rule of thumb is that, that um, termite mounds are very similar to, uh, to, to, to icebergs in the fact that only about 10% actually, uh, actually sticks out of the ground. But what I am going to do is I'm going to see, Xander, how do you feel? Eh? Do you feel you'll be able to walk up here? I'll help you. I, want, I would love you to join me at the top here to show you some of the views that I can see. We've got a, such a clear day today um, with the storm that's washed the air clear, clean of dust and of smoke that it would be a waste not to show you at least something. So it's going to get a bit messy as Xander gets up here. He's carrying a big heavy backpack and of course this is slab sided. Can I give you a hand there, Paul? There we go. All right, just watch up. It's a bit. You get a bit of vertigo as you're standing up here. But just have a look at what this looks like. We can see almost the entire Sabi Sands. I'm actually going to be running through a couple of features now as we come back from right to left. There in the distance. Hold on one sec before you race away. Over there is the Arethusa airstrip through the trees there. That strip of white that you can see on the left hand side of the screen. And then as we slowly come about, you're looking over the Sand River drainage basin. And then there's a line of hills in the background over there that look like the ridge on a crocodile's back. That is near a town called Tulu Mahaj. And if we come just further left of that, there's a small little range of hills in the dark. Sorry, right of that. Excuse me, Xander. Small little range of, of hills just in the distance before the Drakensberg. That is the municipality of Bushbuck Ridge. That is a two-hour car journey from here to give you an idea of how far we are looking. And then that bright blue uh, mountain range that you're seeing in the back that's the northern end of the Drakensberg mountains and uh, it forms the western the western boundary of the low felt it's also it's also South Africa's longest mountain range and has one of its highest peaks one of them being that peak over there over that tree there that is Maripskop and is the highest peak in this area and also how we are getting our signal from where we're standing over here on top of one of the world's largest termite mounds um, all the way to final control and then on top of that mountain and then to you everywhere I think in the world. I don't quite know how it's all done. I know we get some internet from somewhere and it goes to somewhere but just have a look at how tall this, this thing is. I just can't believe how high we are. A herd of elephants slept there last night. You can just see over here you can actually see where they defecated, the urine still wet, and all their patterns of their skin in the sand. That's the skin pattern of a herd of elephant. And I would have been quite safe up here if they were down there. Wow. Hey, nice, Hosanna. Eh, I'm going to go down this face just to show you how steep this thing is, and then I'll help you get down. <laughs> I'd love to know how old this termite mound is. Definitely hundreds of years. And there I'm at the bottom. Easily three or four of me. Crazy, man. Anyway, I'm glad we shared this termite mound with you, to be quite honest. It's one of those rare things out here to see something as big. A true giant. Anyway, we're going to be sending you back over to Taylor. 